the last video we learned about the state variable in this video we go talk about the local variables in salty smart contract okay so i have opened my remix id make sure to do that and let me give this comment local variables and let's create a contract by the name local variable okay we are following the general convention okay not a big deal and here we're going to define couple of variable as a state variable okay so when you define variable here after the contract it's called state variable and that's the thing you have to keep in mind okay so it will become public and i will call it number okay right now i'm not assigning any value to this state variable okay so we have our state variable and now i'm going to create a function so i'll call it function for local variable and now here i'm going to define the function i'll call it local public here you have to keep few things in mind whatever variables you will define inside a function they are called local variables you can define as many as you want and you can use them to build different logic to perform different calculations so those variable can only execute when the function is get call and they're not going to store on the blockchain it's used locally in a memory okay so all the variables which you will define as a state variable those are the variables going to store on the blockchain and those will keep the actual data but those variables you will define inside the function they're going to use in the function and act as a memory okay it will not store on the blockchain but it will store in the memory so that's the few things that's the thing you have to keep in mind so i'll say not store on the blockchain so you guys can understood that the variables will define here it will not store on the blockchain and here i'm going to define a variable i'll take a unt i'll define a variable unt i and i'll say i is equal to 345 okay that's the simple one and here i'm getting some sort of notification okay so let's come here let's delete this one let's try to deploy the contract I click on this and here the contract is got deployed here i have my number if i click on this currently i have zero because nothing in there but if i have this function i click on this function and here you can see nothing is happening i want to return this okay so i have to make this view i'll simply call it pure because we have a detailed discussion about this view and pure okay so i'm not explaining right now this because i don't want to make things complicated to all of you guys okay so just use pure and here i'm going to use return and what i want to return i want to return number okay so i will take this unt and this is how you define return okay and here what i will say here i will come and i will simply say return and i'm going to call this i okay so in this way i can easily able to have the output from this function so let's save it and let's try to deploy the contract one more time and if i click on deploy if i click on this here you can see i have zero if i click on local and i have the output okay so this is how i can easily able to use the local variable to perform certain tasks okay so this is the one way to define your local variables but i want to do something okay so right now you can see this is the state this is the local variable i have and i have my state variable which is an empty so what if i want to make subtle calculation and the output i get i want to assign that value to my state variable okay we can do that definitely we can do that with the help of our local variables okay so what i can do i want to update that so let's come here here i'm going to call that my number and i want to update it to i and here i want to have the output as my number so here you can see here i'm making the change in my state variable okay because the previous previously the state variable is zero empty but here i'm with the help of this function i'm changing the state variable data okay so i have to remove this from view okay actually I, we don't need to use view because we are making change view is only used to read the data from the state variable okay so we have to remove this view because we are not reading we are making change in our state variable now save it save it and let's try to redeploy the contract click on this deploy and here we have the contract okay so if i click on this local you can see right now i have this zero but i have to call this function if i call this function if i call this here you can see this is how we can update the data so let me repeat what we have done because this is the very important thing which you have to know because when you will work on an actual smart contract this is the thing goes over and over again okay so inside the function we have created a variable by the name i and that variable i we are assigning that local variable we are assigning to our state variable that's the only thing we are doing here and because of that it's everything's working fine okay so that's working fine so i hope you guys have understood that how you can use this function and if you come to the logs if i call this function and if i come here you can see this is the entire log i have got for this transaction so this is the account which i have to do it and the function i have called and you can see this is the output i have got from this function okay if i call it one more time open it this is the output i have got okay so this is pretty simple hope you guys have understood that how you can define local variables how you can use it local variable to perform certain calculation to update this state variable okay 
so that's our local variable let's have a couple of more examples so i'll say i plus plus okay so what i'm doing inside that i have pre i have defined the i value is 345 but further i'm trying to update that as well okay so i'm adding 45 to that and i will take this address and i want to take the address one okay so this is what i'm doing so let's come here let's define the address data type here and now i have to make the output okay so i'll say address i want to take the number and i want this i i remove this one and here i have to define that what are the data i'm just returning so here i have to come and here i have to define everything so i will address and i want this number number okay so that's the three thing we are returning so we have to define explicitly that these are the three data type we are returning okay and now we can click on this click on deploy and here we have if we click on my number still we have zero if we click on this local and here you can see we got the output okay so this is the one we have right now we have seen this is looking good and here you can see in the log you can see we got the address account one we got the unt 45 and we got the 39 8 uh, yeah 390 okay it's coming in the form of object so we can easily able to fetch this data and display on our application okay so that's how things are looking fine okay let's bring this down so that's all about the functions and how you can create local variables and perform different tasks okay and how you can use local variables to update the state variable okay with that i'm ending this video let's move to the next video